As a teaching method, hybrid learning is not used all throughout the semester or the school year. It is used in the lesson where hybrid learning as a teaching strategy suits well with it. Hybrid classes replace a portion of traditional face-to-face -face instruction with online activities, such as video lectures, online discussions, or projects. Online interactions can be synchronous or asynchronous. Online sessions via different video conferencing applications like Zoom, BBB, and Meet are used to synchronous sessions, but it is encouraged that teachers use them for knowledge deepening or formative activities where learners can directly get feedback from their teachers. Now, in this presentation, I will be introducing some technological tools to facilitate teaching in a hybrid modality. In my empowerment technology class, specifically in lesson one, I integrate Jamboard during my synchronous session. I put all the instruction in our virtual classroom and the student will be given a link by just simply clicking the thumbnail in the virtual classroom. Now the question is, what is Jamboard? Jamboard. Jamboard can enhance classroom participation by allowing students to visually portray their learning and thinking. I remember during the first day of class during online distance learning or ODL, I integrate Jamboard in my first lesson on what is ICT. My students were very eager to collaborate in real time with their classmates. After they put answer in the sticky notes, I randomly called students and how did they come out with that answer. After that, I directly provide feedback on the students' insights. This also helps teacher gain knowledge on what their students are comprehending in real time. It is actually a great tool for collaboration in person, online, synchronous, and asynchronous settings. In case of our knowledge deepening, after they put all their answers in the sticky notes, I lack the access of the Jamboard and call three of my students to discuss about their posted answer. After they deliver their answer, I also provide some comments verbally about ICT. I also put feedback on the use on the sticky notes on the definition of ICT, like this, for example. ICT is a variety of technologies that facilitate communication. That's how I integrate feedback using Jamboard in a hybrid modality. Now next is Kahoot. Kahoot is a tool that delivers and presents questions to students. It is set up as a game. The students can play either individually or in groups. This tool is ideal for hybrid learning modality or instruction. For example, giving a formative test in the class. Now, we will be doing classic, meaning one player in one device. It could be a laptop or smartphone. By here, students are ready to join the Kahoot test. You need to share this game pin to the students for them to access and visit this website. Now, let us look for this demonstration of the Kahoot quiz. The student is now entering the pin and their name so that, so that they can be part of the participants. Now this time, the teacher is controlling the actual Kahoot. Once the Kahoot started, the students answer the question they see on the screen. They also given it time to answer the question, and they also need to answer the question by choosing the appropriate color and shapes on the main screen. After that, students will now be able to see the feedback by giving the correct answer of the question. Teachers will be using this time to provide explanation about the correct answer. As the students answer more questions, they change positions in the leaderboard. At the end of the Kahoot quiz, you will see the final results. This is where the time you can insert your general feedback about the quiz, student scores, and the performance. Now the next tool is Mintimeter. Maybe some of you here used to have Mentimeter in your class activities just to make it more engaging. In today's flexible learning, especially on my class, we use Mentimeter during our homeroom class election, where we will be able to collect data and feedback on who is the leading in the list.
We are now in the moment to create our polling. We go to slide type and look for ranking. I put the label in the question as class president and wait for the classroom to elect. We have item one, two, three, four here. Now, Katrina is chosen to run as president. So I put Katrina in item one and it will be followed by Juline. So I put the name of Juline in item two. And for item three, we have Constantine. I put their names in this text field so that the main board will be changed. Here you can either add an item or delete an item in any case. You can also customize the setup here. Once you're done, you click on share here. And then copy the link that is provided or download the QR code and send it to the class for them to vote. Once you are done, while the class is still voting, I will click on present so that the result will be visible on screen. Here, present. Now, Katrina won as the president of my class. Here we can see the number of who voted and an immediate feedback on who won the class president. Next is the election of vice president. You can either duplicate the slide or add a new slide here and change and delete your question to vice president. And then I now open the nomination for vice president. I indicate names in the item. So Gioni is chosen to run as vice president. So a Samantha and Miro. So there's another one we have Salva. So I add another item. I'll just click on add item and put her name. They can either use the existing link to vote here. In case that others will ask you of another link, click on share again. Right there. Copy the link and share it to the class. Once done, we will wait for the class to fully vote their vice president. Then I will present again the screen to the class for them to see the results. And luckily, Gioni Wan is our class vice president. To add more features on Mintimeter, Mintimeter has a feature where you can give feedback by commenting and replying to the presentation. The menus are actually available at the bottom part of your screen. In Mintimeter, aside from presenting, you can also manage the results here and view the results. So do it, click on manage results, and then you can see the presentation statistics. And that is how effective Mintimeter in hybrid learning modality. Those are just some of the many feedbacking tools that might be useful in hybrid modality. There are actually a lot of educational and technological tools that are available online that can help your class be more engaged and gamified. Um.